everyone, and welcome back to me playing some video games. Um, this is just gonna play in the background, but again, this is Last Remnant. I'm not gonna talk a whole lot about it, but I will mention some things probably near the end of the video about it. And, yeah. Anyways, so, I wanna talk about, um, some of the rumors flying around this week about how the next generation consoles will not let you buy used games or something? Um, apparently they're gonna have some kind of DRM that will, uh, register the specific game that you buy to the specific console you play it on. And if you don't play it on that console, it probably won't work or something like that. Which I think is a little ridiculous. I don't know about you, but I mean, if I don't want to buy a game and my buddy's already got it, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm just gonna borrow it. And if it doesn't work like that, it's gonna suck real bad, because I mean, I have so many fond memories of like, you know, from my childhood of like borrowing a game from my friend because I was. My family was too poor to afford it, and, you know, my friend was like, Oh, I've already beat it. Here, borrow mine. You can play it. I was like, cool. Thanks, man. And then I'd play it and beat it. Like, you, you won't be able to do that anymore. I feel sorry for the, the next generation of gamers, because if this DRM thing goes in effect, they won't have these fond memories of, you know, even taking a, your own g game to somebody else's house to play because it won't work on their console because it's already registered to yours. I mean, it's just it's just a little silly. Um and then that'll, that'll it'll really hurt um tournaments uh people who set up like multiple Xboxes or PlayStations and stuff and have like the LAN tournaments. It'll hurt those um <coughs> those groups or organizations or whatever because that means they'll have to have Either people bring their own games and consoles in, or they'll have to have set copies of each game for each console, and it's just... I don't know, it's a little silly to think that they're gonna go this far. I mean, from a business standpoint, I could understand the online passes that EA was putting in. Those those made sense to me, because I mean, it, it was like, oh, you could still play the single player or whatever, but to get like some... some moderately fun enjoyment out of games like online part you know you had to pay the ten dollars or you know if you bought the game at full price it came with it but then you know I mean I can understand from the gamer standpoint of how frustrating that is also because if you bought the game secondhand at GameStop and say you're not as into the loop as most people are or some people are with the gaming community and you don't know about the online passes so you you buy a used uh EA game from GameStop for 54.99 cuz you're like it's $5 cheaper it just came out this can't be that scratched up right so I'll just get it it'll be just like brand new and then you get to play it you go home and it's like there's no there's no online pass in there and it's it's like Enter your code for your online pass now, or buy one for ten dollars. You're like, you just bought this game for fifty-five bucks. Why do I gotta buy a ten-dollar pass to play it online? Doesn't make sense. But <clears throat> yeah, so I mean, th this is. I really hope this doesn't stay a thing. I hope Microsoft and Sony realize that putting this kind of anti-used gaming thing into effect is not gonna be great for the community. I mean, honestly, it kind of makes sense, but not enough to actually do it the way that they're doing it. I'd be fine if... I don't know. Um, they could just implement an online pass. That That's the lesser evil here, and I would be fine with that. But, I don't know. Well, then again, that it would hurt the developers that aren't making multiplayer games, the ones that make single-player games, which... There's not too many of those developers around anymore, considering everybody's like, Ooh, let's make an action game that's multiplayer with lots of shoot 'em ups and explosions. There's not going to be too many of these last remnants and stuff like that 
going around anymore, which is sad. But yeah, um, before all this really lame stuff happens to the next generation of consoles, we still got blah 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 blah. blah. Anyways, we still have some good games coming out uh, for this current generation consoles. They're porting over The Witcher 2 in, in Enhanced Edition. Uh, I thought about buying it for the PC, and then I found out they were doing the Enhanced Edition on the Xbox. So, probably just gonna buy it on the Xbox, because it comes out like two weeks from now. And that game, you know, it's just, we haven't had really good single player action RPG kind of game. I don't know, I didn't really play Kingdoms of Amalur too much, but from what I've heard, it just gets kind of repetitive, and so I guess that happens to every game. I don't know. I mean, I, I played a little bit of Kingdoms of Amalur, but... I don't know, that game just didn't tickle my fancy. Something... Something weird with it, but... You know, The Witcher, um, apparently it's supposed to be... Like, it's got a super good story, and some moderately challenging combat or something, so it's not just X, 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 Y for magic, Y for magic, X, X, X for sword attack, blah, 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 stuff like Fable and, and Kingdoms of the Ambler, where, and, uh, I, I'm a little excited to see how it plays out, so whenever that game comes out, I'll probably snatch it up, and, uh, yeah. Speaking of which, um, I know I've mentioned several times in the past, lots of times, I've never followed through with it, that I was gonna buy a capture card, but now that I make, you know, twice as much money as I used to, just about, well, more, yeah, twice as much money as I used to, I actually have spare cash and can buy one. I found one, uh, that, well, through advertisements on, like, YouTube and stuff, they're, they've been, they've been advertising this Roxio game capture device. And I think it's like seventy dollars or something free shipping. And I was I was looking at it. and I was like, yeah, this this might be a thing because it comes with like it comes with some video editing software, but I probably won't use it unless it's got like some halfway decent special effects in there. But I might pick it up simply because I can now. Uh, the only issue is I don't have a TV near my computer, so I have to find some other way to set up my Xbox. And stuff. Because I don't think you can play through your PC monitor with this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it works. I'll probably just buy it and then look into how it works and then mess with it. I don't know. But it's like seventy dollars, and yeah, probably just gonna pick that up this week sometime. Also, uh, this last Remnant game probably gonna see me playing it a lot. Um, anytime I do one of these videos, probably will be with this in the background. I might talk about it. I might do some... Maybe? Oh, I'm not gonna do a Let's Play. I'm not starting the whole game over again, but, you know, I like this game. I'm probably gonna go play it right about now. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I'll see you later. Bye.